Hello guys, I'm Cy from Cyanai Software. This is our very first tooltip video. Uh, we are doing a whole tooltip video series. Um, sort of gonna always just sort of discuss stuff Max related. Um, problematic files, problematic geometry, how to do certain things, maybe Max scripting, some different stuff all over. So um, for right now, uh, we're gonna, for the first one, we're gonna talk about bloated Max files. Uh, we got this files from our friends at Recent Spaces in London, and they sent us this file with just a Corona camera, and it happens to be 344 meg. <laughs> so um, let's just go look at the scene info, and you can see in here we have you know no objects, no shapes. The only thing we have in here is one camera, and that's it. Um, taking quite a lot of RAM to, to uh, use this file. Um, so what makes files bloated? Um, there's a lot of useful things in Max. Uh, we'll talk about like note tracks and um, animate. Well, actually, let's just fire up first. Let's just sort of take a look at this. So I'm going to run Forensic really quick, and we'll go through sort of take a look at what's in this scene. Um, so right now it's going to go, it's scanning through the problematic items and it's come back with things that make scenes heavy, uh, note tracks, there's none of those, motion clips, there is a hundred and forty thousand motion clips in this scene, animation layers, there is a hundred and seventy, or sorry, one thousand seven hundred and sixty one animation layers and no retimers. But all of these things can slow down and bloat a max file. Now, if you go up and look at, say you open a dope sheet, um, you're gonna notice a lot of stuff in this. You know, if I you know, go through um, the max motion clip manager, there's a lot of custom attributes in here. Um, we also have, let's see, we have retimers in here. Um, all this stuff, and your note tracks could be in here as well, it will be in here as well. Um, all these things are somewhat useful in some Mac scenes. Like note tracks are, if you have an animation, you can add a note to those keys to sort of say, well, that's what this one does. Um, other things, you know, that are there are, you know, there's, there's weights in there for animation, so you'll get a lot of that in the animation layers. So I'm just gonna go kill these things for a second because we don't need these. Um, and it's obviously what's making our scene very heavy. Um, so I've gone and cleared all this stuff. And now if I was to just go a quick scan through the, this whole scene, it's gonna go through and goes back pretty, pretty quickly. There's no, nothing left in there. And let's do a save. So let's go take a look at our file size. <laughs> We've gone from 344 meg to 64k. <laughs> um, that's a massive, massive change. Um, I also tried to um, fire up this scene and then load in this the copy of it in as an XREF, and it after 25 minutes I just gave up. It was just not loading in. So. Um, we've recently added this to Forensic. These are new things. Uh, thanks to our guys at Recent Spaces to help us out and send us this file. We've been looking for um, problematic files. So if you do have something that's interesting, send it to us. Um, problematic things, suggestions for Forensic, um, anything. Uh, we're interested in seeing it and adding it to our tools. Uh, so remember, Forensic is free. Um, so you can just go, we maintain it. We actually just came out with our new release, 1.09.1, uh, which we went up, went up yesterday. Uh, you can simply just go to our website, uh, sign up or log in, go into your user's dashboard, go to downloads, and you wanna download the workstation installer. Forensic is in there. It, it, we have an all-in-one installer, so it doesn't matter, it's just gonna go load everything in there for you. So um, if you were to get, say, proc size from other people, you can actually use them and render them in your scene and not have to have a license. Uh, so you get all these extra sort of benefits from the one single installer. Um, 
I think that's it. I uh, hope to, uh, if you like this video and you want to follow us, um, see these things. Follow us on Facebook, like us on Facebook, um, check us out, and uh, I'm looking forward to number two. I don't know what I'm going to do for a lesson, but um, we'll do something different. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. See ya.